The building block of all things in the universe is the atom. And when nanoscientists like Harold Rose, Maximilian Heider, Knut Urban, and Andre Kravonik want to study an atom, they do it with the most powerful microscopes on the planet. It's often said that electron microscopy are the, is the eyes of science. And that's very true. It's a scientific method for letting us see what's happening at the fundamental level of matter at the level of the atoms. How small is an atom? Harold Rose has an answer. Think of a golf ball. The ratio of the golf ball to the Earth is the same as the ratio of the atom to the golf ball. The invention of the electron microscope in the 1930s provided scientists with an unprecedented view into the nano world, but not quite enough to see individual atoms. Electron lenses you have in electron microscope, they are compared to light optic lenses, they are very poor. You wiggle around and uh, don't see a sharp image. The spherical nature of the microscope lenses caused aberrations in the image, and so for decades, sharp images of individual atoms were unattainable. Doubters thought the problem was impossible to fix, but Harold Rose disagreed and came up with a theoretical framework to fix it. For him, resolving the aberrations was just a matter of time. My opinion was, I have to wait, and uh, until uh, technology will be available, and then it will work. Andre Kravonik's launch of an aberration-corrected electron microscope opened up a new world of possibilities. Over time, our view of individual atoms went from this to this. You can put an electron beam on pretty much a single atom, and you can ask it, what kind of an atom are you? Uh, and it will respond. It will give you an energy loss spectrum in which it identifies itself. And not only that, it also tells you how it's bonded to its neighbors. So it's hugely revealing. When you get down to that level, you get understanding that uh, would not be available any other way. Today, aberration corrected electron microscopes based on the breakthroughs that the Kavli laureates have achieved are used in laboratories throughout the world. Real advancement in science need uh, good ideas, endurance, devotion, and nowadays perhaps teamwork. And for the advancements they have made in their fields, Maximilian Heider, Harold Rose, Knut Urban, and Andre Kravonik are awarded the 2020 Kavli Prize in Nanoscience. <laughs> <laughs>